my name is Shadow Templar 591 and I am back playing Fallout. So this is actually a little different than my normal Fallout videos. Um, I am actually doing post commentary on this video because for whatever reason, um, when I recorded this video, um, the commentary was there, but when I went to export it, it came out to nothing. It was just silent, like, and it wasn't, my mic wasn't muted because I, I had it up on a second screen, making sure everything was going good and just got bupkis. Um, I even tried recording stuff for another video and it came out so I don't know what happened um, But you know it is what it is. So we're back. We're playing fallout um, I am going to try to take on the desk claws uh, It is not going to go well um, as probably veterans of this game and series know and can kind of see from the kind of equipment I have this is not going to go very well but it is what it is and we will go from there um, yeah so I am just taking a bunch of damage I did pretty good damage um, the reason I attacked these is I have both forgotten and not realized that these guys have over 200 damage you know I'm sorry have over 200 health so I figured oh you know 12 damage you know 16 damage you know a couple more hits and uh I was gonna kill them no um, I do not realize that very early on that of how much damage um, they do well not only that they do that they need to take how much health they have um, I also did not realize that uh, my friend Ian did not have any um, what uh, any uh, ammo so as you saw um, not only did I get negative five health I died and he went on a, on an attacking spring on a killing spree so um, while well, he tried he literally did no damage um, because he tried to attack a death claw with your fist, which is very ineffective. Um, I am basically now taking a look at his um, inventory, trying to see what I can do to give him some ammo. Um, this is going to be a recurring scene with ammo, so stay tuned. I'll have more fun ahead. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going through, just taking a look, seeing, okay, you know, what, what, what do I have? What, what kind of ammo um, does he need? things like that so give him some ammo trying to trying to get some of that other ammo i gave him back um and that armor uh just because he doesn't really need it uh and i don't think he's using it but i decided to forget it just take the ammo and let's go because once again at this point i don't realize how much health these death scars have so i just figure well between me and and ian the two of us will do will do enough um, I still don't have de um, dog meat, which I should at some point probably try to get him. Um, it might just happen in this place where I don't end up getting him, oddly enough, which he would also help. Um, you know, he'd probably only do an, an extra couple damage, but hey, you know, another meat shield. Uh, and Ian does five damage. I do double that, but I also probably have very. I am very leveled up in my small harm stat. I am assuming. Ian is not. Uh, yeah, he does do serious damage, so I don't know. See, that's one thing I'm not too con to, um, how can I put this? Not too sure about in this game when it comes to, like, mortal runes. Does that mean anywhere, or does that mean the specific spot that they got shot at? I'm assuming the specific shot, th specific f spot they got shot at, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I see. Hey, this thing is. 200 health, um, over 200 health, I'm probably not gonna kill it, um, so I just try to see what happens and get killed a second time. Third time's a sham, right guys? Um, and it actually turns out to be true, I actually do not die to a death claw again. I am now currently looking around trying to figure out, okay, what's the best way to get out of this area without having to fight one of those because it is not going well. Um, has not gone well and probably will not go well again for a little while so kind of just looking around seeing what I can do um, to get out of here looking at the building I believe there is a spot in that building um, with ha which has um, the I believe the desk claw the, the eggs or something there are, are in there so I do eventually have to come back and take care of this nuisance but right now I just don't have the tools I do try some uh, other tools in the future um, but yeah it does not does not go too well just do a little spoil warning I guess or foreshadowing would be the more common 
more proper phrase so yeah just a little foreshadowing does not go well for me in the future but we get attacked by this disc claw luckily i don't take too much damage so i can just literally just walk it off um and we've now are in the middle of a, a river a moat of uh goo or as the game calls it or radio radioaction ra radiation um i was very tempted to try to walk across it and get to that body but i said you know what no nope, let's not do that let's also take our gun away um just because i've basically locked up myself out of an area because i didn't put my gun away so uh let's not do that uh let's see here i find that this that i have this this guide here and i'm like hey i have to speak to your boss it's very important and he just lets you walk through i find that very funny and then i kind of go go talk to him again and just say hey um you know, I want to buy weapons for, for Zach. He's like, oh, yeah, I remember you. I mean, you better. You just talked to me. And then I'm like, hey, can you buy it with me? No, fine. And then, hey, I try to joke with him. He's like, there's no joking around. Get out of here. It's like, hey, you just let me. You let me cross the river with, like, no really identification. I could just come in here and murder everyone, everyone and you would know better. Um, we find Zach, who is a dwarf, um, which is kind of plays into the whole idea of dwarves being um make us a weapon later on um i ask him for a discount he's like no nah, sorry man you gotta if you want a discount you gotta talk to gabriel so i go looking at his weapons his ammo he's got a lot of stuff this is basically um and it makes sense i mean you got death calls next door so you you want to be fairly stocked up so i'm just going through his different weapons seeing what he's got um as, I far, as far as I understand, anything with plasma in the name, whether it be a rifle, whether it be um, a pistol, whether it be a, a grenade, that all falls under the plasma when it comes to doing more damage and be better at, at it. Um, the plasma stat in your character stats. Um, right now, my most uh, best stat for weapons is when it comes to two weapons is small arms which i didn't realize also equals um submachine guns and rifles i figured they were in a separate category um but no they are actually all tied together which i guess makes sense i'm talking to these um gun runners now i'm talking to gabriel just asking him hey what, what, what do you guys do here you know this is where we find about manufacturing weapons um but they you know this is surrounded that this was a uh, industrial place um, that they had a lot of resources but now they stripped everything they need to get re resources from another town the problem is because of all the raids the towns had to bring in some mercenaries those mercenaries eventually actually become the regulators and now there's this kind of awkward standoff between the regulators and the gun runners uh, a lot of people don't like the regulators because they seem to focus on other humans instead of doing and taking care of the issue of hand which is the death claws um you know talking about them uh, you know take tell them hey i can take out the death claws and it's like great can you do that awesome i'm um, going on to, um, ask him, hey, why do you leave? Basically get a pretty good answer. And it's, hey, we would have to move a lot of equipment, a lot of windmills, things like that. And that's not easy stuff to move, which, you know, fair enough. It's not. It, that would be very difficult to move that stuff. So definitely understand where we're coming from. Um, you know, talking about, hey, my, I got some people that would really like uh, the weapons you have. They're like, hey, if you take care of the death claws, we'll do anything for you. Fair enough go through the same dialogue tree again click misclicked um asked him why they didn't get uh any visitors they talk about the desk laws once again makes sense as i saw you know and as we saw those are not things you want to mess with um so the ghoul the one ghoul i forget his name back there in uh i think it was shady sands it's correct they are desk laws um they do exist and they are around and i'm actually kind of curious if i go tell a I wonder if I go back to him and tell him, hey, death claws do exist. I wonder if that would be, um, if I would get in more info about them. So that's something I'm going to have to try. Um, if, at very least, some experience would be nice. So, you know, going back, talking to, uh, what, um, Gabriel, I think it is. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm talking to Gabriel, sorry. Um, 
yeah, talking to Gabriel. Now I go back to talking to um, Zach because I didn't realize that was Gabriel just because he looks like everyone else. Um, usually all, they have a lot of the main characters, especially, will have talking portraits, so he didn't. Um, so asking about the discount, he's like, hey, sure, Gabriel says you're cool, I can give you a discount. So going through some weapons, um, I do pick up a submachine gun and uh, an assault rifle here. I do realize um, as I'm going through everything that I, the submachine gun is a weapon I also have. But before then, I try to get the combat armor. It's 10,000 bottle caps. That is a lot of bottle caps. I don't know where he's keeping all those. Um, I try basically putting everything I would give up for that. I barely get halfway. So safe to say I don't actually get this. Uh, but it is good to know that this is where uh, some good armor is. That being said, I do eventually want to join the Brotherhood as well. So maybe they'll give me some better armor. Um, so I've got a couple of different side missions going on. Um, right now, I'm just kind of seeing, going through everything, seeing what I would want to give up, you know, what would be cool to give up. I guess not cool to give up, but what I would be willing to give up and how much you would actually be willing to pay me for said things. Um, the answer is not a lot, um, but considering the kind of stuff he has, the stuff I have is kind of minuscule in comparison. Uh, so, it is what it is. Um, I do think... I eventually do give up uh offer talk yeah okay i do go back to talk to him basically to uh do a different deal i'm looking at my character stats this is where i find out what actually is in the small guns i knew pistols were and i knew you gave them a lot so i really max out pistols um energy weapon so i think any plasma weapon is an energy weapon unarmored is obviously fist melee weapons are melee um, for some reason, I thought rifles and submachine guns were under the big whip, uh, big guns, but that's mostly, as we saw, like, bazookas, you know, things like that, um, which, once again, makes sense. Uh, I'm looking at my other really good stats that I have, like, speech, um, repair, uh, you know, barter, seeing about bartering, um, uh, things like that. Uh, obviously, I put a lot into my speech and a lot into especially into my small guns because there is a lot of combat and good thing i did because i ended up locking myself out of an area because of it so you know good good thing in hindsight bad thing as well because i locked myself on an area and probably a lot more experience but it is what it is um i was looking at that machine that mini machine gun man that would have been nice to get but to be honest it, it probably wouldn't be too worth it so uh, just looking at what he's got um, gonna grab the, I think I grabbed the assault rifle. Um, no, still just looking at his stuff. Uh, what is, oh, I see what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out, hey, what, I'm trying to figure out what weapons I want, and now the ammo that gets, that goes with them, so, basically trying to get the ammo and the armor. Um, right now I'm going through, hey, do I have this assault rifle? Ironically enough, I passed by that same submachine gun that I'm trying to currently give, get money from him from and don't realize I already have it. I do uh, realize it before I actually made, excuse me, make the trade. So I don't actually end up having two submachine guns, but before then I do not, which is a little hilarious, a little funny, but hey, that's when you have a singular mindset. I do end up causing this little visual glitch by um, clicking the bottom HUD or HUID, um, HUID, yeah heads over interface display and just, that seems a little redundant um so that causes some issues in the sense that i eventually figure out what i want to give him figure out what he wants get all my ammo and stuff and then can't actually finish the deal um because the buttons won't pop up so i eventually have to go back in and redo them but one good thing is that even though i have to go back in there and redo them um with items in um in fallout the once you actually have bought something and if they don't stack they'll all be at the bottom so that's one good thing um or if you send or if you do the whole stack of thing that whole stack will be at the bottom so i mean a little little cool thing i'm um, just taking a look at the weapons um, I realize now at this point that i don't need that submission gun so i'm just looking basically now for the ammo that goes with it I wonder if there's 
better ammo I can give it because I noticed it'll be like 10 um, AP and JP and I don't know if that's specifically for specific weapons or like hey if I have a 10 um, if I have a pistol and it has 10 AP ammo can it also take 10 JP ammo as well as, as well um, for those not versed in bullets JP is usually um, yeah, it stands for like jack jacket projectile it's basically how the bullet is made um, it, it's and how on impact it actually affects it so um, because of how some bullets are made when they actually hit impact some of them are actually made to do a straight shot um, or and some of them are actually made well I guess let me rephrase it. All bullets are made to balloon out. Some are made to do it at different points and thus cause different types of damage. Um, so that's just a little uh, little aside for you, you uh, non-military people, non-gun uh, people out there. Um, and an MM is is millimeters, as as you can expect. Um, so. Which is kind of, well, I guess it makes sense. I was going to say kind of weird for a game made in the U.S. Since we don't use millimeters. But to be honest, most guns, most things, anything that's going to go over that has a possibility of being sold overseas is usually in the international method just so they don't have to convert over. Um, which makes sense. Makes a, a lot of sense. And what do we got? Okay, so I did the deal. I did the trade. I am now going to basically I take a look at um, how much the assault rifle damage does and to say I am not uh, convinced or happy on how much it does is uh, is not great okay no am I no okay so I apologize this is actually I wasn't able to do the trade so I'm just basically putting it back in now so that's what's going on okay so why I do that I do eventually um, take a look at how much the uh, the assault weapon does damage wise uh, to say that it does a lot less than I would expect um, is an understatement um, I kind of figured I saw that I kind of figured it would maybe be, be mitigated by me able to do like war attacks in a row that turns out not to be the case um, and we'll see kind of in sh very shortly uh, what that ends up resulting in happening uh, but it is a little comical to say the least uh, what does end up happening? I actually do end up getting saved by my partner, but that's that's for other ways up So we won't worry about that too much now um, But right now I'm basically just trying to get as close as possible because I was like 70 away Told him hey, is this a good deal? And he's like nope. I'm like oh, fine. Here's here's the beer. Here's some new cola. Is this good now? Um, and I think he still says no. Oh, do I? I think I actually might just be like, here, here's some bottle caps. Right now, I'm just searching. Do I give him the bottle caps or do I try to bottle with him first? No, I give him the bottle caps. I give him 67 instead of 66, uh, which would be, which gives him one more bottle cap than what the trade is worth. But I'm like, I'm not going to worry about it. Just take it Let's and let's get out of here. Um, let's go. So we do that. I'm done. We leave. And then I am going to now try to, with my new assault rifle, try to attack the death claws. I also would imagine, too, that maybe certain weapons do better because of the ammo they use. Maybe just they do better damage against certain enemies. Uh, maybe that's a thing. I don't know because obviously this game is from 1997. So that may be a little more in-depth for this game than what is, what is possible at the time or what they sought. Um, right now I'm just taking a look at the... Uh, the damage that it does compared to say my pistol and uh yeah not too uh not too thrilled to be honest not too uh not too uh, happy with that but i say you know what forget it let's do it let's go in there we'll try it um get it all loaded up um I, do i forget to give you an ammo i do yeah i don't i don't think i give him any ammo uh, I tried to attack this uh, this call up top. It's behind this wall, so try to go for a headshot. Nope. Try to go for a butt shot. Nope. I'm like, well, there's another one around here somewhere, so I'll just go go find that one and not even worry about it. So I go to our good buddy down at the bottom, take a look, and we are we're about to see my third death 
claw fight. This one goes a lot better than the other two, so, you know, there's that, I guess. Um, boom. Hit 98%. Shoot him. Two damage. Yeah. Five damage. So, I've literally done about a third of, anywhere from a third of a fourth to what I did before. I also didn't give him any any ammo though that actually in this case actually ends up saving me um, which we will see shortly out of it and he actually does excuse me he actually does damage to uh, uh, to the death call 50% of my ammo damage which I did the first time for my first shot so you know that's great and I'm just like you know what I am just this isn't gonna work I'm just gonna try to make a bolt beeline for the exit um, yeah yeah, that, as you can see, that's probably not going to end too well, but I'm like, hey, I got nothing. I not got nothing to lose at this point, um, and anything, everything to gain. So I'm just looking at the Death Claw. Ian actually, because he didn't have any uh, weapons and used his fifth, actually knocks it down there. I take a look at it, so I'm like, yeah, no, this thing's got over 225, 220 health, 200, over 200 health. Um, I'm just gone so because he knocked it down and because it's aggroed on me I actually am able to stay just enough steps ahead of it that I don't end up getting intact again and actually end up making it so in a weird roundabout way me not giving me forgetting to give Ian Ian ammo actually ends up saving my life which is kind of crazy to think about and actually saves his life too because he actually um, just follows the death claw the death claw follows me I follow us out and we play follow the leader until we, we leave and say you know what let's not do this um, I am gonna go back and try to do with my submachine gun I'm going to expect probably not the greatest results so yeah I end up I'm doing that, making out, saying thank God, and I'm looking, I'm like, okay, how much does my submachine gun make damage-wise? I'm like, ugh, that's not much better, but it is better, so next time, guys, um, we're going to try it with a submachine gun, see what happens, but as always, guys, my name has been Shadow Templar 59.